Which do not ever hear say ADF? No, talk the truth. Which do not ever hear say ADF? ADF fighter. They get clash among themselves. No, be honest. Which day? Even though they not plenty. Which do not ever hear say they even do the cannot. Which do not ever hear? So. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Clovis, he did talk say which day did I say ADF the fight amongst itself? Of course, it is be, it be very unlikely say ADF go fight amongst themselves. Why? Because ADF no be just a force who will go pick and for road or will go bribe some people and give them money. Say me then join we. ADF na a professional military where he found as them they don't get experience for fight against La Republic. They don't go through all type of training them. Then they go for ground zero. Recruit boy them, call pick up pictures them, give them military training. AD, ADF na an, an a professional military for Amazonia. We then get ranks and files, we we'll get command structure, we we'll get a leader for ground and we we'll get a leader for diaspora. Now a national army. Now a national army. In terms of size, ADF is the biggest force in Amazonia. Even if you want to compare it based on the video footages you have seen on social media, go and look our parades in, in, in Lebialem, our parades in Manu, our parades in, uh, in Batibo, and all those places in Anya, and all those places. There is no competition. We are all over the place. We are the biggest force in Ambazonia. Unlike the other forces, you have different, different forces, all of them on their own right. It's not even a competition, but just because he mentioned them, it should not surprise you that ADF do not fight, fight against himself because ADF have arrived at a criteria called a force. We have a command structure, we are organized, and we are focused on our mission to liberate Ambazonia. That is why you don't find, find us fighting against each other. There is not fighting for position because our focus is not about position. Our focus is about fighting for liberation of Ambazonia. of leadership inside Amazonia. You see, Amazonia no. Now when I blame Ayaba, I blame Ayok, I blame all the people. Because now Amazonia has a move. When I don't forget one thing. When I don't see me, I don't, I don't attack Ayaba Cho a plenty time. But I want to want him. Ayaba Cho and Amazonia. And where the guy they feel now because they, they feel say they must use they must enforce themselves on Amazonians. My tell you something. Who be ever not say Dr. Sako will take power from Ayok Tabe? So Amongst all the, the thing where he did talk, he, he, in his own mind, Dr. Cho Ayaba the force itself upon Ambazonia. Said, Mr. Clovis, I think you need to do a little bit of research on what you did talk about them, about the organization and the personality you did talk about them. Dr. Cho Ayaba have always worked from the All Anglophone Conference, working even as a bodyguard to Frundi. He's always a savior, saving other leaders, saving the people. Work tirelessly. Ebenezer Akwanga don't give examples of how selfless he be. He abandoned even the corpse of his family for can save Ambazonia their interest. Together with all the patriots, the way he don't attack them for that organization, or way they be there for that organization, like Sheikh Kavi, uh, Benadikwa, these are people who have fought on the ground. Sheikh Kavi, these people abandon life in the diaspora, go in the forest, and train Ambazonian forces for six months. At one time, the family of Sheikh Abi was almost removed out of the out of the house because he, he did not pay rent. He was in the forest working for us. These are patriots. Dr. Cho Ayaba was elected as a leader of the Ambazonia Governing Council through a democratic means. He did not force himself. He was nominated by other people. He did not push himself. He did not apply to be nominated. He was nominated because of his personality, his leadership skills. And he's the leader of the biggest movement we have, the Ambazonia Governing Council. He's not forcing himself on any Ambazonians. A group of Ambazonian people, now they have over 38 different missions across the globe under the Ambazonia Governing Council. And we have forces on the ground, transitional authorities on the ground who are representing our organization. This is the biggest movement in Ambazonia, the biggest organization. We don't force ourselves. We are Ambazonians. We are exercising our rights to represent and organize ourselves to represent the interests of our country. This is our right. It's our God-given right. To see it as people imposing themselves doesn't make sense to me. It's just, uh, I think, intellectually, 
not sound. Anyway, we will go. In this struggle, you understand, you get different stages. You get that way, you need a calm person, maybe a strategist. But you get that way, you need an outspoken person, like Sergio Chris, or like, um, like Ayaba. One good thing about Ayaba, despite the odds of Ayaba, Ayaba Chu, na person way, if you hear the talk sometimes, it gets away the talk. If he talks some kind of way, so when he good, we so that you need that kind of way for talk against your enemy. You know, always one can the one can talk. What? Man, yeah, so, follow me, please. My, my man, listen, this is war. What? <laughs> it just surprised me because Clovisan spent all his time to lie about Ayabacho. Because Dr. Chu Ayaba either extend a hand, either talk say make we as the officials who would take our care from here, same will reach out for people like this and try to encourage them to be reasonable. And Iran talks, this is a fight about truth against deceit, against lie. Perhaps Clovis and the rest of those people, J. Carl, in their mind, they thought that we were fighting them. <laughs> Maybe in their mind, they were coming out and lying, thinking that we were lying because I remember the time we first do the first parade two years ago in our mother base. They, 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 some of them, they said that our guns were toy guns. Maybe they, were in their own eyes, they could not imagine that we could work so hard and provide those weapons for our soldiers. Maybe, perhaps, they are, maybe they don't really, they are not, they don't really believe all these things. Perhaps they were being fed with fake information. Oh, Chris, oh, uh, Chris uh, Christopher Anu. And Sako might have just been giving them those type of information or they just wanted to be lawyer and they think that what we do, we're just supporting our side. No, we were not. We are very factual people. We follow the evidence. We, we, we are patriot. We love our country. We have principles that we believe are the most effective way to lead a country and a collective struggle like ours. These are principles that have been tested by many other people. Every time you do something collectively, democratic principles must apply. You must respect the rules. Today, the same complaint you are giving about Sako, is it not the same thing you cover up when it was Seseko's turn? Why did you not stand up for Seseko the way you want you are standing up for Sako? It means you are just you are just saying things because of the leader. It wasn't saying things because of the truth. Look at what is happening in Bui. What is the Sako and the Nachop that you were saying that those are your forces when they were carrying out actions? You are nowhere to be found. Me, for this platform, I take my time for two days. I told you people that we want to bring all the forces together. We have called upon Kapo, giving him the mandate, and we are encouraging No Pity and the Bui Warriors to come together and resolve their things peacefully. I call for Yerima. I call for Honor Weber. I call even for you people. And I said, every activist, the 24 different organizations that are struggling to go to negotiate, they should come and prove that they are there to help Ambazonia by helping to solve this problem. How many people got involved? Today, when you see them sit together, some of you, you are there shouting, oh, it's not ADF, it is ADF. We don't care about credit. But we give credit to the soldiers because they, them too, they themselves wanted to resolve it peacefully. Otherwise, whatever we try to encourage or to facilitate will not have worked. But definitely... We are patriot. We are patriot. All the lies that Clovis Nachop had said in the past, I don't know his motivation, but it was very selfish. Because if you are lying deliberately, knowing that you are lying, I don't know what can justify that. I don't know. Today you are calling Sako out and Iringwa for stealing money. That is what I have been saying for three years, and you have been insulting me, protecting Sako. Today, because Sako and the Iringwa don't want to, I don't know what is really going on with you, with you guys there, but you are now coming out to expose him. Why? Because he doesn't want Chris Anu, or because he doesn't want you people again, and he's 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 choosing the person that we told you people from the beginning that. Iringwa was sent there. There is audio from Bandam saying that he hand picked Iringwa and sent Iringwa to Sako. 
there are people within his administration where they call them what are LGA what that are agents that have been assigned to him and he cannot do without them no matter what you do whether it is right or wrong sako cannot he is engaged you people ignore everything you have a duty to question your leader in the ambazonia governing council when we have even silly allegations against our leader we pose it to him privately within our setting we pose it to him he have an office space that we participated. Each official have their office space. We confront them. It is our duty. Why are you saying these things just now? Anyway, they say it's better late than never. But I will say you have to at least apologize for the past things that you have said and at least put it in a perspective so that we can actually look at you in the eyes. You're coming from your basement and saying all these things. You have grown beers like, <laughs> I don't know what is happening with you. But we are men of integrity. We are patriot. We serve our country with national pride. I will say this one. In the beginning of this struggle, I also was following the struggle. And when Sisiko emerged, I did not really care about how he emerged. I'd be just this for, for maybe if we just support him, everything will be fine. And Ayabacho and Akwanga and all the nationalist movement, all the nationalist movement were complaining. I did not take time to study it until I saw that things were not going, even though we, we supported Seseko, things were not going. So I, I turned back to this guy and do, I did my research. And I realized that they were they were right. And I took it to Seseko. Like a leader that I support and I tell him, this is, this, this is, but why are you not doing this? Why? These people are right. And eventually, it's a, it's a, it is what it is. It is what it is. In the Ambazonia Governing Council, we all hold each other to account. You cannot just come and lie to Ambazonia people and they will allow you. You will not. Everything I say here, I go back to the organization, people will question me. Why did you say this? What is the proof? Show us the proof. Otherwise, we will not back you. you it's, it's very worrying that you people are in that group. You created a group called the Blue and White Army, specifically to blackmail other Ambazonian leaders and other factions. Specifically to blackmail them. You are partnering with Cameroon agents like Michel Bientong. That is evidence to everybody today that he's an agent. You're coming to lie about forces on the ground. Saying they should go and kill forces on the ground, for goodness sake. People's children. Clovis, that's what you were saying. Joining the Francophones and the Sako and Chris Arnold to ask them to keep soldiers to kill all ADF soldiers on the ground. And you know that these people are fighting for Ambazonia. Yet you ask people to kill them. You wish them dead. I cannot wrap my head around it. I cannot, I cannot wrap my, heart, my head around it. And I hope the good Lord touches your heart that you, you, you look for justice because there are so many people you have hurt. You have killed people without knowing. Do you think the soldiers that died because they, they were ADF in the hands of other soldiers who could not, who were manipulated by those social media posts you put, you are not responsible? You are responsible ultimately for what you say. I take responsibility for everything I say on social media. Everything I say, I take responsibility. I will not say things that I cannot take responsibility of. Not even if I have a asked me to say so. Not even if I have a asked me to say so. You cannot come on social media and ask people to go and kill ADF fighters. Today you are appreciating I have a show. May God touch your heart and let you apologize. Clean yourself and just be fair. Nobody is asking you to, to, to I don't, we are not asking you to do this. But we welcome it. We welcome when people have a turn around and they realize themselves. We welcome it. But if I have something to say to you, Clovis, Nachop, and to all those who are with you, struggling to find a way out and they are realizing themselves like many soldiers have realized themselves on ground zero you guys have apologies to give and you have to restore 
the broken hearts in Ground Zero. All the lies you have been telling people that the IG is a government. I created the IG. I was there. I created it. It is not a government. Dr. Carlson and Anyangui, the author, have said it. Milton Takam have said it. We should stop lies. And we should be honest. I see even Yerima, the, after coming from the retreat, when he see that Sako is going down, he is not no, no longer using IG care. They are now calling it back IG. They should remember they promised the Ambazonian people in, in the SCARF, Mark Barata's thing, in SCARF that they are transitioning into something else. They have realized the error they make to create that, 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 uh, that, uh, that appearance of a government or that claim of a government was a mistake. And if they are going back to that mistake, after they have seen all the effect, then one has to question their love for country and their patriotism. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today.